Hi, this is Steve Smith from Marshall Amplification. I'm here at Gear for Music to show you the reissue of the original Blues Breaker pedal. So the idea of the Blues Breaker pedal was to give people sort of a lower gain, because with the, the other Marshall pedals, like the Governor and the Drive Master, Shred Master, they are hard clippers, um, which means you get a lot more saturation and a lot more distortion. The Blues Breaker pedal is a soft, clipping design, which means you get less gain, a bit more of a transparent tone too. So this is ideal if you like the sound of your amp and your guitar and your setup, and you like just to add a, a little bit more drive or a little bit more hair to that original tone. We're gonna take a listen to the sound of the amplifier first, and then I'll engage the blues breaker. Now with the blues breaker. I think you'll agree it's a real nice tone. Um, if you're if you're into your vintage tones, this is perfect. Or even if you just want to push your amp a little bit further. So if your amp's already overdriving and you want a little bit more, it's ideal for that too. So the, the features on this pedal, pretty straightforward. You've got gain, tone, and volume. Typically, a lot of people used to sort of run these with the gain and volume turned up pretty high. And um, what we're gonna do is just show you the different levels of gain and the tone. So I'm gonna reduce the gain now, and it's around, we'll leave it a quarter of the way up, which is gonna clean it up quite a lot. <laughs> Gain halfway up. Okay, I'm gonna go all the way up on this one. Okay, so as you can see, there's quite a lot of range with the gain. I'm gonna turn it down a little, and now I'm gonna show you the tone control. So again, if I reduce the tone, it's gonna become a lot darker. Halfway up. and then all the way up. So the Marshall Blues Breaker pedal definitely has its sound and it's probably the reason why it's one of the most respected guitar pedals ever made. Uh, and even though there's only three controls on the pedal, there's a wide range of sounds available. So if you'd like any more information on this pedal, please visit the Gear for Music website. I've been Steve from Marshall, and thank you for watching the video.